This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. Looking for some Rebel Clash boosters? No problem, they got your back and deliver the codes instantly. So definitely check them out at PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, if you're from Europe, be sure to check out CardMarket.com. This is the best place for you to get physical cards. You can buy cards from people all across Europe as well as sell cards yourself. It's the best platform for buying and selling physical cards in Europe and I personally use it every single day So be sure to check out the website if you haven't already cardmarket.com What's up YouTube? It's Zapdux TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today it's time to uh, revisit ADP Zation because I've seen a couple of lists uh, these days that are using Order Path to make Ultra Creation GX happen on the first turn going second. And that's exactly what we're going to try and showcase on this video. We of course have ADP. Ultra Creation GX is a very busted GX move letting us dish out 30 extra damage for the rest of the game as well as take an additional prize card for every knockout we take uh, after using Ultra Creation. So that's gonna be fantastic. We have Zacian, our crazy Brave Blade buddy, being able to smack 260 after Ultra Creation GX, is able to one-shot almost anything in the game uh, except for V-Maxes. So uh, yeah, if you're up against things like tag teams and all that, you might even have to go for two-shot, but it doesn't matter because everybody's running the Dene and with a huge amount of bosses, orders and great catcher, we can just punish those decks and go after these threats instead because let's say you're up against Picarom and they have two Dedennis on their field well you just go after the two Dedennis and that's game that's gonna be fantastic we also have tool scrapper to get rid of big charms on things like Picarom because Picarom does have 240 HP but with the big charm we are not able to one shot dive thanks to tool scrapper we are also we have the order pad and order pad will make sure we can find those metal saucers or energy switches in the early phase of the game for us to of course use metal saucer and energy switch to get an energy onto the ADP so our manual attachment can be the water energy. That means we can use ultra creation jacks on the first turn going second and the opponent will have to be uh, yeah, definitely doing a lot of stuff in order to prevent us from taking all of our prize cards because yeah, afterwards Zacian is going to go crazy with Brave Blade, taking a KO and taking additional prize cards. Uh, thanks to Acrobikes and of course the 4 Research and 2 Dedanis as well as uh, 2 Cherish Ball and 4 Quick Ball. We're definitely going to make it happen. So hopefully this will be uh, a nice way we can showcase that ADP Zacian is still a top tier deck. People are actually writing off ADP Zacian and uh, saying that the Turbo List uh, ADP, uh, yeah, without ADP is better. Uh, from tournament results, I could agree, but uh, we haven't tested out the order pad version of ADP Zation, so that's what we're doing today. So hopefully you guys are stoked for this video. If you are, be sure to destroy the like button as usual, uh, that helps out the channel tremendously. And I do think we're up against Dragapult, and uh, we see how we go with that. Yeah, against Dragapult, I think I will still opt to go first, even though we can get Ultra Creation off. This is a very nice way we can go about this, because as if we can get, a, uh, like, let's say... An Intrepid Sword off, that will be good. We run 4 Zacian and uh, the opponent still needs to attach and then pass. So we are going to be in the same scenario regardless. Okay, we have our Zacian to start off with. We have Quick Ball to get our ADP off. We have Intrepid Sword. Order Path might get our, uh, ourselves the uh, Energy Spinner. So we'll see how that gets us uh, somewhere. I also don't want to use the Danny and the Dragapult matchup. But we'll see how that gets us. Okay, lots of bosses orders though, so let's start off first by getting ourselves. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of one boss's orders and get ourselves the class. Is there another boss's orders in here? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves the ADP instantly. We see energy spinner in here as well as one copy of the water type energy. I will wait to attach that water type because he could be running crushing hammers, which could be very, very dangerous. Okay, an energy, I think, yeah, we will go with the energy attachment, uh, the metal type first. And then go afterwards with this scenario. Okay, Cherish Ball, <laughs> yeah, definitely taking that uh, water energy for sure. And I think I will just attach here. It's a metal energy, I know that. But I'm gonna go for Intrepid Sword. We're not gonna order patch just yet. And we do get another attachment, which is very busted. As well as a metal saucer and a research. So we don't have to uh, actually rely on the Danny here. Which is awesome. Okay. Opponent, oh, yo, this is something else entirely. Okay, maybe we should have gone second and used Ultra Creation Jax instantly. Okay, either way, if the order pad provides us with um, a switch, 
yeah, just a switch will be uh, sufficient enough. Research, we're gonna see some, yeah, some spirit tombs, presumably, look at that, spirit tomb immediately. They do take two prize cards, but uh, at one point, yeah, the shrine is also very annoying. We're definitely gonna need that uh, Calyx well, which is in here. I wonder if we went second, how things would have developed here. We could have gotten an attachment here. Maybe Metal Saucer, we still need it. Yeah, we probably will have, uh, would have used the Dene in that scenario. Here's Jinx, and then let's see. We can energy switch and start going offensively, but I think taking additional prize cards is better with our Cannibalist. We're gonna get ADP up and rolling. The bad news is this Cannibalist does run great catchers, and uh, that is definitely gonna be very, very crucial. We can also like boss Zords to leave him stuck, but uh, how many switches are in there? One switch, scoop up nets and a skateboards as well. So I think this is going to be yeah, tomb count. We'll see. Anyhow, we get start off with an acrobike. Getting a switch card instantly. We don't need to dig any further at this point. All right, let's go. Switching around and going for the altered creation GX. We still have order pad. I don't think he's going to be able to yeah, the shrine will put us up to two extra damage counters, which is not cool. We could research, we can go for boss's orders next turn. I wonder, if we use boss's orders in this scenario, will the opponent, will, will he have an energy? Or not? Will he have a switch card? There's all so many questions in here. Order pad, I think going very offensively is probably the best bet, right? We can use order pad, energy spinner. Might as well use order pad. We'll see what we get. We uh, are getting a tails here. Alter creation and then research. Yeah, I really want to find my chaotic swell to be honest, but uh, the boss order is also very good. Yeah, we still have another boss order. I think I will go for the research here. Getting additional stuff is better. Also, this is very good. Research next time attachment of the turn. Yeah, we'll use the energy spinner right now getting another energy This guy also can get rid of special energies by the way, which could be awesome We didn't find our Kylex well just yet. So let's just go straight ahead with altered creation GX putting the opponent on a clock Shrine is taking in some damage, but if our ADP survives We can actually make it work. We have an attach of the turn right here. We can also like yeah, oh, here's the black market. Oh, yeah, this changes a lot. We do have Chaotic Swell to get rid of that black market, so really need to be finding that. Hopefully it's not priced, otherwise we will be in a pickle. Going deeply through the deck will be key here. There's the Spirit Tomb. Evelt also going down the drain. Building Spite. I think I might just set up the Assault Tackle because we discard a special energy. That means if he has a special energy, we discard it and then the Black Market doesn't activate. I think that's the way it goes. Great ball. Yeah, we still have Quick Balls left on the Dene, so we can do Dene once again. Research the Dene, find Codex well. That's gonna be our main concern at this point. We attach to the ADP so we can attack with it and accelerate three energies that are still in the deck. Probably to Zamazenta V. Zamazenta V is going to be able to discard special energies. Okay. Chirachi is doing a whole lot of uh, stellar wishing and probably digging for resources. Maybe he's stuck in the active. We already see so many resources. Oh, scoop up net. All right. Here he goes. Yeah, we do have tool scrapper so we can get rid of these two tool cards. The only thing we are missing at this point... Okay, they just can see. They don't have an energy. <laughs> That's where it goes. They were on the clock. Even if they would have slapped us with damage. Uh, if we would have found Codex while we'd taken prize cards. We could have also uh, maybe top decked a quick ball. So we can go for uh, stuff like uh, a boss's orders from a Dedane. So we Dedane find the boss's orders and uh, punish the opponent. And play around it uh, until we get the Codex well. So, yeah, ADPization still doing its stuff. Uh, Spirit Tomb, unfortunately, was not as consistent. So, I think I will go second if I know what I'm playing against. It's a fire deck. Fire deck, I think I will go second because they cannot weld on the first turn, anyhow. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll see what they uh, opt to go for. We lost the coin flip. It's all in the hands of my opponent, and the opponent goes first, which is nice. 
hopefully we can get this first turn alter creation GX off and that is, is gonna help us out so much. Come on, starting with some good stuff. Other than eh? Really now, that's not the good stuff, really. We have a quick ball, we can get an energy to the ADP though. So at least we have that going for us. Okay, it's Baby Blacephalon. Oh boy. This is not gonna turn out okay. We do have Marnie, so we can quick ball, get ADP. We even have two quick balls. So first things first, I will go for order pad. It's Tails, of course. I'm not gonna check out what we have to work with here. We have an ADP, there is a Dedenne prize, so there's not gonna be any other shenanigans going around, unfortunately. Yeah. Let's take ADP. Slapping down ADP. I don't think, maybe he's not gonna be able to one-shot us after that. Intrepid Sword is definitely gonna be key here. Intrepid Sword. Marnium to a low hand size. Let's go. Marnie to a low hand size without Jirachis. Maybe that's gonna be enough for us to work with. We do have energy switch, but it's not gonna be enough, unfortunately. We can attach here, then a metal saucer. So next turn we do get an ultra creation GX off. So at least we have that going for us. And we even have an energy and a research. So if the Danny survives, that's gonna be good. We also have a reset stamp, which can help out. Okay, another Blanc pops up, hopefully he whiffs on Welder, an attachment of the turn going alive, and that's it, that's it, okay. What we need is a lot of stuff, so we can attach Metal Saucer Research, first things first, I'm gonna check out if the Order Pad works. The Order Pad works, finally, so we can do a couple of things here, we can get the, the Switch here, or the Big Charm. Attachment, Retreat, Metal Saucer. I think the Big Charm is definitely going to be key here to survive faster. Although there's two of them in there. Only one of them in there, okay. If we attach and we get to switch. Uh, even though Metal Saucer is way, are way too good. Way too good. Yeah, I'm going to take that Big Charm for sure. Next up, another order pad. Cha cha! It's heads again. Okay, that uh, saves us a big deal. Let's get that switch up and rolling. I wonder if he's gonna be able to do it. Attach here. Big charm there. Switch to the ADP. So ADP does have a whole heap of stuff going for it. We can wait with the saucers or research for next turn. Yeah, we're just gonna go with Ultra Creation GX. And see how we go from there. Next turn we attach Metal Saucer and Research. So that's gonna be awesome. Five cards in hand. Will he be able to slap 310 damage? Actually 350. I wonder. He's been Ultra Creation. The Marnie early game was MVP to be honest. We did see a Welder previous turn. So hopefully that is the case in this scenario. And then we go crazy. We take additional prize cards and we put the opponent on the clock. The only way he can win is if he's playing cards like Beastbringer. Or if our ADP somehow miraculously gets exploded here. He needs 7 energies in hand. So he has now 4 energies. There's only 1 in the discard pile. Will he get uh, 7 energies? There's Boss Azores. Okay, taking down the Zacian instead. Boss Azores taking down the Zacian. That also works. But that actually means we can accelerate energies onto our Zation immediately thanks to the powerful effect here. Okay, we have a boss's orders of our own. Attachment over here. Metal saucer. Ta-ta! We have a boss's orders. Not gonna be using that just yet. Let's go. ADP. Okay, we can use another ADP here to be honest. So we can accelerate to multiple Pokemon. And these are very, way harder to knock out. If he knocks uh, an ADP out, it's gonna be done for anyhow. I'm gonna use Cherish Ball to see what we have left to work with. Is a water energy in here? Okay, there is a water energy in here. 
Yeah, I actually will use another ADP. Acrobike. Yeah, taking the metal energy. And let's go with Ultimate Ray. One, two, three. And uh, we're setting up another ADP because we know after our ADP gets knocked out, we have another one and they are way harder to knock out than Simplization. And seeing as he already used his boss's orders, now he needs a whole lot of stuff. Two prize cards instantly. Now he can actually rely on the Dane. He could still be having it. He needs three energies on the blonde. There's seven energies in this card pile. So scooping that one up, Jirachi, probably gonna be using Quick Ball. Let's just, if we survive this hit, we win. If not, it's gonna be going crazy. He has Fire Crystal Welder. Okay. Then we actually have to dig for our Reset Stamp. That is also a, a good win condition. Codex Well and uh, then... Okay, he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ooh, lots of cards. If there is like Fire Crystal and Fiery Flint in there... He, yo, they concede! Yeah, that's how ADPization still. If they, uh, if certain decks are uh, losing some consistency during the game, ADPization takes over. And now with Order Pad, you can get your Ultra Creation off uh, very quickly, even on the first turn going second. We haven't done that just yet, but uh, the opponent will, if they decide, like, if they go first, you also have an edge if you can get it off. You have a little bit of luck with the coin flip with Order Pad, it's gonna be going fantastically. Okay, now we are up against... A dragon psychic, so it's probably gonna be Mewtwo. We won the coin flip. Uh, I think I will go second. I'm trying this out. I don't know if this is the correct play. Oh, starting with the Dene again? What is this? TCGO shuffles? We have four Asian. Why do we start? With oh, yeah, he also starts with the Dene. It's fine. Yeah, but our hand is not looking good. We're gonna use energy spinner, taking three energies, then go for Acrobike and see how we go from there. Quick Ball, getting that Solgaleo Soul Burst out of there. This is not looking good. Even if we went first, there was not a lot we could have done here. At least now we can make him stuck with Boss's Orders or something. Alright, now the ADP shoves up, which is actually not bad. Let's go. Getting all these energies out of the deck. Come on, Acrobike! Acrobike provides us with a big charm. Okay. We can attach the water energy. He could have crushing hammer. I don't think these lists do run crushing hammer. Don't think so. Let's get this up. Uh, yeah, the big charm is also good. Yeah, just waiting it out. Next turn, we're actually going to use boss Zords to leave him stuck in the active and go for ultra creation. Although we can use boss Zords in our advantage uh, after we used uh, the Elder Creation, then we can go for another attack and target down the Danny to take three prize cards at once, which could be huge. A Rainbow Energy and a Marnie. Okay, this Marnie is well appreciated. But look at this, we don't have anything again. Okay, here comes the Soul Burst. I cannot promise you guys we will win it. It all depends on the order pad or the top deck. We haven't seen supporters. Where are our supporters? Except for like boss Zorda being on the bottom of the deck. Accelerating bazillion energies thanks to Soul Burst GX. This is ultimate Mewtwo for ya. Whoa, here they come. Okay, let's see. We have a Cherish Ball. Hooray! Cherish Ball saving the day, finding the Dennet. Okay, now that we have the Danny, we can use Order Pad, right? Let's go. It fails. It fails miserably. Well, the only thing we will need is uh, a Metal Energy. That shouldn't be that hard to ask. Yeah, here we have the Metal Energy. We can use Ultra Creation GX. We can also use Energy Spinner. Getting another Energy. And yeah. I think we do, we will need the Zation. And we will also need a huge top deck to be honest. Saucer. We have a detach of the turn, so. Oh, scary! Ultra Creation GX. Okay. We can take three prize cards for this, and 
we don't have shrine unfortunately so it is gonna be hard i wonder if the opponent is gonna be able to knock us out in one shot either way if we top deck something like a metal saucer we're good if we top deck something like a uh, research we're good it's gonna be scary either way he can go for blastoise we have 310 HP, so he will need to get rid of like all of his energies and use Blastoise's attack. But then he's gonna be left with like a, a low amount of energies. Okay, that shri rainbow energy is very, very significant. We do have a huge amount of bosses orders, so that could actually be our game-winning scenario where we take four prize cards on Mewtwo and then uh, a Dedenny as well. Hopefully we survive so we can use Ultimate Ray, Charge Ball again, or Alolan Reticates. Don't see Blastoise just yet. Cherish Ball again. Blastoise may be priced. Could be a case. Okay, he's gonna use Ultra Creation Jax as well. Could be could be the case. Yeah, we really need to find our boss's orders then, if that is the case. Come on. All depends on the top deck. We can top deck Great Catcher. We can top deck. Yeah, Great Catcher will not do the trick though. We we still need more. Okay, we get an impact. Just 160 damage. Oh, the research! The research is life. Okay. Yeah, definitely an energy here so we can put up some damage and then go for research instead. Let's go! Whee! Alright, another Zation. Or going with the Zamazenta V to discard energies. I don't think that will be necessary. Okay, these are all very good cards, to be honest. We can go for Ultimate Ray and already smack some damage on here. Let's go. Ultimate Ray. And then we just need to knock out the Dedenne and the Mewtwo. So, one, two, three metal energies. There they come. One, two. Yeah, I'm just gonna set up one entirely. We do have Metal Saucer for the other one. He could gust this guy up, but then ADP still survives, and we can set up another one, so... Yeah. The 100 blows impact. 160 damage. So our ADP will not survive, but we take four prize cards. He only takes three prize cards. So prize raise wise we're doing good, as, of course, ADP Zation always does. All the attackers going. Oh, Blasto is right now in the in the discard pile. He can use the rapid splash or what is it? It's fine. We have bosses orders in hand. Yeah, this Xerneas is a one prizer. It could be good, but we run a huge amount of bosses orders, so we're gonna be good. We even have Metal Saucer. We have two attackers right now. We're gonna get rid of the Mewtwo, taking four prize cards in the process, and then even if we knock out this, uh, we also get two prize cards, so it's fine. Weakness, the Xerneas. Okay, Xerneas can keep all those energies. We don't mind that at all. Let's go with bosses orders first. Okay, first Xerneas, Metal Saucer. Da -da. And now the um, order pads can come in handy. Yo, here we go. Another Saucer right here. So we have two attackers. We can even reset stamp to be honest. Reset stamp to a low hand size. Yo, we would have knocked out Mewtwo with bosses orders. Use the reset stamp to a low hand size, and there was nothing he could do. The only thing we would have needed is just a touch up turn and just knock him out, which is sick. So this deck still consistent as ever. Knocking out Mewtwo, knocking out Baby Blouse. What's next? Uh, fairy types. Oof, I don't even know what this is. Lightning and fairy. Well, have you ever. We lost the coin flip, we don't mind that, because we run energy switches and order pads. And we can go first, of course. We are not able to showcase the full strategy in this video. It still works out, though. Hello, we see hard faces, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, you are all having a fantastic day. Okay. Also, we're gonna be uh, exploring dark... <laughs> Another Dedenne star, what is this? We only run to Dedenne. VCGO, what are you doing to us? At least we can go first, right? Zation. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna draw into an energy, right? So might as well get rid of that. Get an ADP rolling. How many energies in here? Oof, eight energies and a spinner. 
So we should be okay. Let's go! The Danny time! Oh, so sad. Getting rid of all these resources. Oh, the water energy instantly? Oh. The water energy instantly is fantastic. And next up, Acrobike as well. Chaotic Swell. So no giant hearts for sure. Slap that down. The Dedenic could be knocked out thanks to a f uh, the dub dub. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch here. It's fine. Don't think he's gonna be able to one shot that on the first turn. Let's go with Entrapped Sword. Drawing some resources. We do have Marnie for next turn. Attach Marnie is gonna be better than the research. He has a lot of cards in hand, so wait and see Hammer. No! <laughs> OMG. Okay. We can still survive this. We have two order pads left, so we can use Energy Spinner as well as Metal Saucer. Wow! Starting with the Wait and See Hammer. For real. Countering ADP. Who still does that? It also counters Dragapult, so it's fair, but yeah. Maybe we should have gone with the Metal Attachment instead of the Fire Attachment. Strange scenario. Okay, this is another Mewtwo list. Another Mewtwo list. Hopefully, uh, our water energy will not be prized, otherwise we will have to do it differently. The Intrepid Sword also didn't attach an energy, which is sad. I wonder, if our water energy is prized, we're gonna, ha gonna have to go a different route. Although we can knock out the Danny, maybe draw the water energy from that. It's a scary scenario to be in. Yeah, we're gonna see... Mellow Lana. Okay, he's just gonna switch around. Is the Soul Burst in here already? Okay, lots of people playing Ultimate Mewtwo. With Wait and See Hammer. What are the chances of him getting the Wait and See Hammer in his opening hand? Like what? That's insane. And the Blastoise as well. Okay, this time around our ADP will not survive. Look at that. Everything going in the discard pile. Yeah, this deck is great. Not, up, <laughs> not against Wait and See Hammers though. Ridiculous. There's the Xerneas already preparing itself to knock out ADP, so we are being threatened heavily. So, what to do in this scenario? Everybody get some energy, Soul Burst GX is life. I wonder, it all depends on if our water energy is in the deck. Come on, cha-cha, it fails. Order Pat! Okay, what can we grab? Okay, the water energy is in there. So we can grab, for sure, the energy spinner. We do have an energy switch already, so I think... Ah! Yeah, we do have two order pads left. Energy spinner can wait. I think we need to go for Metal Saucer Energy Switch combo right this instant. Right? I think so. How many stuff in here? Yeah, we already used two to Dennis, which is ridiculous. Energy here. Energy Switch. Yeah, two to the ADP. <laughs> Slapping this down, and it all depends on luck right now. Order pads or energy spinner will be crucial. Okay, nothing? Nothing? Oh yeah, we see, we manually draw into the water energy. How could I not see that? Big charm on this again. That means he smacks 60 damage, right? 60 damage for every amount of energy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, he's gonna get rid of all of his energies with the big charm. Or we can just retreat. And into the Xerneas, which is pretty annoying. Which is probably something he will do, right? Big Charm for sure. Cherish Ball for nothing. Sure. Yeah. Ultra Creation Jax goes live right now. But we don't have anything else to work with afterwards. Maybe we should wait a little bit. But then as Zacian goes down... Ugh. Yeah, let's go with this. Maybe we tap Daka Research, you never know. Starting with the Deden is like, what? But you see the, the energy switch combo happening right here. Energy to the uh, Charizard. Cherish Ball, not a Deden. 
And if he whiffs on the switch, how many switches in there? Zero. Okay, we're screwed. Xerneas will go on the offensive and countering us completely. We, he can even just go for his uh, Zero Aura for free retreat. Look at that. And all the energies are to the rushes are to he can get, make quick work of his nation. So uh, we're a little bit screwed over right now. Yo, what is this deck doing? Okay, countering us completely. The wait and see hammer cost us the game. We know that. Taking three prize cards. Unless we now get Metal Saucer, Metal Saucer energy, we are done for. Order pet? Yo, it fails. Immensely. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna have to make quick work of something like this. Intrepid Sword! No energies! Oh, this is game. This is game, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed us playing with ADP Zation. Sometimes it works like a, the most busted deck ever. And sometimes you have scenarios like this. Where the opponent counters you with the Wait and See Hammer. Very, very busted card. But will be rotating with Lost Thunder. Fortunately. <laughs> okay, boss orders. Yeah, this guy can just uh, make quick work of our fellas. He will have to manually retreat, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter. What now? We have the reset stamp though, so at least we can do that. But he can retreat and just knock it out, so it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I wonder what we would have gotten thanks to the Intrepid Sword. Yeah, one energy. Well played. So anyhow, this deck is very great. Test it out for yourself with the order pads. Have a little bit of luck by your side and uh, you will be winning every game. Anyhow, I wish you all a very fantastic rest of your day. Uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed the content. And uh, yeah, subscribe to see more. I'll see you guys in the next video very shortly. Peace out.